like no chicken marinating has like made me like contemplate like reaching Sticking in finger and, and trying a little bit and eating it than this chicken <laughs> but i'm all just like oh yeah i could then i'm like oh wait f this is raw chicken <laughs> Hi, my name is Priya Krishna. I'm the author of the cookbook Indianish, and I'm here with Marwan Irani, chef owner of Chai Pani. And we're gonna make a few recipes from the book, starting with the garlic ginger chicken with cilantro and mint. So Marwan not only is the chef owner of Chai Pani, but he has his own spice company, Spice Wallow, which just recently launched and sort of your grab bag of all the spices you could possibly need to um, do some Indian cooking of your own. <laughs> We're going to be using... Handy dandy three pack of spices. <laughs> That's the official official term. It's the handy, official term. Handy, handy, handy dandy, dandy three, three pack, pack of, of spices. spices. A uh, collaboration between Spicewell and Indian Nation. I think what we're going to use in this recipe is roast coriander powder. Yep. We're going to use amchur, which I'm is sure. um, dried mango powder. Dried mango powder. Also from the big kitchen essential spice kit, we're going to use Kashmiri chili powder. I think that's all we need, right? Yeah. Let's work on the chicken. And I think we've got pretty much everything we've ready. We've got everything, so we just need to make our marinade and then dump the chicken in it. In the marinade, we've got lemon juice, amchur, dry mango powder, mint, ginger, chili, garlic. Those are sort of bird's eye or Thai chilies. Yeah, Thai but chilies. You can use serranos. I use you serranos. You can use serranos. Just yeah. anything kind of fruity, coriander seed. That's sort of the primary flavoring in this. And then our red chili powder for some heat. So to this, we're going to add oil, ginger, garlic. All right. So we got about three tablespoons. You can, you can eyeball it eyeball if you want. Three tablespoons of oil, roughly. And we've got our ginger, garlic, a full tablespoon of coriander powder because this is sort of the primary flavoring for this. Okay, there you go. Mix that in. A teaspoon of umchur. And what I love about umchur is that it sort of does something really similar to what like lemon or vinegar might do. Like it kind of adds that acidic citric exactly. element. So like if I don't have lemon in a pinch, I'll just like add a little bit of umchur to something to bring acidity to that. Cool. And then I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of turmeric. It adds sort of this like depth and earthiness. All right, looking good so far. What else we got? Yeah, that's it, that's, right? That's it. Now you just put our chicken. Put in. our chicken there. Do you have like a sort of like go-to like chicken dish at home? They're like a go-to combination. I cook so much Indian food in the restaurants that at home I rarely cook Indian food. That should be enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then just yeah. mix it all up. Normally, what, you'd marinate this for an hour or so, two hours maybe? Yeah, but like sometimes my aunt just marinates it for 20 minutes and that and still imparts the flavor that you need. Okay. Oh, you know what I just remembered? Yeah. Salt. We didn't salt it. Or do you want the coarse stuff? What's your yeah, preference? You got the coarse stuff? Yeah, I have the yeah, coarse right stuff. There. It's just easier to take a pinch of kosher salt that's coarse as versus fine salt. You can see it. So let's put this aside for what, like 20 minutes or so? Uh, yeah. <laughs> So the chicken, you can kind of cook. I cook it sort of the low and slow method on the pan, mm -hmm. but you can cook it whatever way you like to cook chicken. What is your favorite way to do it on the pan? Oil, low and slow, the way you like to do it. Um, so I'll, what I'll usually do is I'll like I'll sear it on both sides for about a minute until and it's then turn it down and then turn it down. Yep, yeah. that's what I was thinking. Right, let's put these pieces in. Mm. So the trick is, obviously lay it down so you don't splatter the shit out of yourself. Yep. And also don't crowd the pan. Don't crowd the pan. So you can me, always do it in two batches. You can always do it in two batches, exactly. That's what I tell everybody all the time. And maybe one more little piece there. Yep, and we'll do the rest of the second. Well, nice char. If I want to. I'll chop up some cilantro and we can that's the last step. Oh, man. It's on top. Mm. 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 Oh my god, oh, thank yeah. you. Thank you. I feel oh. so classy. Cheers. Cheers. So the last step is I'm going to chop up a bunch of cilantro. Cilantro is sort of used as a finishing herb in most Indian dishes. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things that brightens up and freshens what is a very spice-heavy cuisine. And I don't know about I don't know how you feel all this marijuana, but yeah. I am pro using the stems. Oh, absolutely! I mean, my there are mom... people who like only are like leave, leaves only, but no, no, I just, no. Why waste? I'm just chopping that really coarsely. 
Whose chicken is this again? Sonia Mommy's chicken. Sonia Mommy's chicken. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Shout out to Sonia Mommy. Right. And Mommy is aunt on the mother's side. Ma- yeah, exactly. Maternal aunt. Exactly. So is there a finishing touch? Uh, finishing you touch. In mind? Yes. The cilantro. Oh. Just. And there's no there's no like rules to this. Mm. You just kind of make it rain. I love the way you work with negative space there. <laughs> there we go. Excellent. Perfect. Some chicken with your cilantro. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, I'm go. diving in. You ready? Yes. Um, it's medium rare. Is that okay? <laughs> you and I love. You can taste like the the ginger and the mint. Like you can just really taste every component. And that lime juice in there. Mm. Hey, save some for the camera people. Oh, sorry. Mm. Mm. Damn. <clears throat> I have this theory oh, that um, the next thing that the bros are going to take is Lambrusco and they're going to call it <laughs> Lambrosco. 